Hello everyone, so let's start our calibration for phase dray inspection from scratch. So the first thing you're going to do is go to file and create a new setup. <clears throat> so once you get a new setup, go to menu screen and let's just get a brief check on UT settings. Clicking on UT settings, I check my gain, range. I want my range to cover all my TCG points. So let's say I'm gonna cover my TCG for quarter inch hole, half inch hole, three quarters hole, and one inch deep hole. So I want my range to be greater than one inch. So I'm gonna move my range to any value that's more than one inch. Let's put it as two. Pulser, everything looks good. Receiver, I would switch my video filter off. And that's about it. So let's go to wizard and click part and weld and start. I'm calibrating off of a mild steel calibration box. So it's gonna stay on mild steel. Thickness, you only change when you start doing some inspection. Right now, we don't know how thick our test piece is. So let's just leave it on as it is. Material is the only thing I'm gonna change. Rest, everything stays same, finish. Go to second, that's set up, start. Group mode, phase ray, application, leave it on other. Next, probe, my probe is on auto, so it's gonna detect itself. Wedge material, I'm gonna select from the list by clicking on show all. And the number on my wedge reads SA31 and 55S. So I'm gonna go down to SA31, click on N55S and select. Click next. Law configuration, sectorial, wave type, shear wave, and element quantity, just leave it on 16. Minimum angle, I would leave it on 40. Maximum, let's keep it to 70 degrees. Angle step, leave it on one. Next. Focus depth. Focus depth is something you wanna focus at the depth of your inspection. So if I'm gonna get a signal from one inch deep, I'm gonna keep my focus depth more than one inch. So right now, if it's more 1.9, it should be fine. Let's go next. And my setup is done so i move on to calibration the first thing i'm going to calibrate is ultrasound and mode wedge delay click start so the catalog that we have has side drill holes in it which means i'm going to use depth as my calibration thickness i'm going to use only if i'm doing a straight beam inspection and radius i would use if i have cal block like this, where I have two radius, right? So if I have radius, I'm gonna use radius. If I have side drill holes, I'm gonna use depth. If I have both, I'm gonna prefer using radius. But in this case, I'm gonna calibrate off of depth. Okay, so I'm calibrating my wedge delay off of the quarter inch deep hole. So my depth value is going to be quarter inch. Tolerance, leave it as it is. First angle, last angle, leave it as it is. Next. Now set my gate on my depth. My depth is quarter inch. So my gate start has to be a little bit less than quarter inch, which would be 0.2. And my width would be about 0.1, which takes me to 0.3, right? So 0.2 is my start and my width is 0.1, so it takes me to 0.3, which covers my 0.25. Now I'm ready to calibrate, put some coupling on, and I get the signal from the quarter inch deep side drill hole. Then I click calibrate and move over the side drill hole again. So I get a nice and smooth signal from all different angles. I can see my side drill hole in the S scan as well. If you wanna verify in the S scan, I can see it pass to, through between those two red lines. Those two red lines are the gates. And I can see that side drill hole signal 
passing through all different angles from 40 to 70. Once I get that, I click accept and I'm done with my wedge delay calibration. Next up is sensitivity. Click start. Just leave it as it is, click next, leave it as it is, click next. And now my gate start and width. I'm gonna calibrate off of the same quarter inch deep hole. So I'm gonna leave my start at 0.23 and width at 0.1. It could be 0 0.2, 0 0.1. Just make sure it covers your 0.25. Click next. Don't play with this, next. Now I'm on my calibrate screen, so I'm gonna get signal off of the quarter inch side drill hole. So first time you try to get the green line, it's not gonna be exactly parallel and in between those two red lines, but when you hit calibrate, now it goes between those two red lines, which, which are my gate levels. Then I click accept and I'm done with my sensitivity calibration. Then I go to sizing and mode TCG, which is my TCG calibration. So I click next, compliance, quantity doesn't matter, next. Again, don't change any of these, next. First angle, last angle stays the same, next. Set A scan, try to set your A scan start at zero, if it's not at zero, and leave everything else as it is click next now i'm gonna set my gate on first echo and I'm, again my first depth is quarter inch deep first side through hole right so my start a little bit less than quarter inch and width which takes me beyond quarter inch so put some coupling on and try to get the signal Then hit add point which will calibrate and get my green line exactly between the two gates once I do that I click on next point so my next point for TCG is half inch deep so I'm gonna click next and when I get to the set gate on the depth then I'm gonna set my gate on the half inch deep so I'm gonna start a little bit less than half inch which is 0.48 and my width to take me beyond 0.5 so let's say I put my width at 0.05 it takes my 0.48 beyond 0.5 once I'm done with that I click next and I'm ready to get a signal from half inch deep side drill hole One point to remember, make sure you maximize each and every point on that green signal. Swivel, swivel your probe a little bit and try to get the maximum signal. Then you click add point and your green line should exactly lie between those two gates. Click next. And now my third point for TCG is going to be, I'm gonna flip my calibration block and use the same side through holes but from a different surface. Now my depth is three quarter inch this time. So I set my gate a little bit before three quarters of an inch. Point seven three zero, And my width, I would leave it on 0 0.05, which it, it takes me to 0 0.780, which includes my 0 0.750. Click next. Try to get a signal from the three quarters, three quarter inch deep side drill hole. Remember to maximize the green line at every angle. You click add point, which takes the green line between my two gates. So I'm done with that. I click next point, which is my final point which is one inch deep side drill hole. So I start my gate a little bit before one inch, which is 0 0.980, and I leave my width again on 0 0.05 because it takes me beyond my one inch depth. So try to get the signal. Click add point, and I should be getting my line between the gates. 
that is it and I'm done with my TCG calibration so once I'm done with my TCG calibration I'm gonna hit accept TCG and that is all peace out